Heaven is a very important topic for Catholics because they believe it is where they will go after they die if they have lived their lives in a way that pleases God. The promise of eternal life with God is central to their faith and plays a big role in how they live every day. They work hard to live by the teachings of the church, hoping that one day they will be rewarded by entering heaven. Recently, something very significant happened in Medjugorje, a place known worldwide for Marian apparitions, where the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared many times. One of the visionaries there, a woman named Mirjana, who often experiences visions, had a very startling and unexpected encounter with God in the church. In this vision, God delivered a shocking message. He told Mirjana that she would be forbidden from entering heaven for a particular reason. This news stunned her, but it didn't stop there. God also gave her a very urgent warning, one that Catholics, especially those in America, needed to hear and take seriously. The idea of being banned from heaven was frightening and left many Catholics deeply shaken. This message made them think deeply about their faith and the choices they make every day. For Catholics, heaven is the ultimate goal, and the thought of being kept out is terrifying. It makes them reflect on whether they are truly living in a way that aligns with their beliefs and the teachings of the Church. This warning from God delivered through Mir Jana has made it very clear that Catholics need to be spiritually prepared and deeply repentant. The message calls them to take a serious look at their lives, to ask themselves if they are following the Church's teachings closely, and whether they are living according to the Gospel. It is a wake-up call, reminding believers of how serious their faith is. We want lots of people to watch this video, so please take a moment to share it with others and subscribe to our channel. We hope this message makes you feel good and helps you understand more about souls and how people can change for the better. If you agree with what we're saying, please type. Amen. For Catholics in America, this warning from God holds a heavy meaning. It is a call to reflect deeply on the state of their faith and the challenges they face in today's culture. The message is urging believers to stand firm in their faith, especially when society pressures them to act otherwise. It also reminds Catholics to support one another on their spiritual journeys, to help each other grow in faith, and to be careful not to fall into the trap of becoming lazy or careless about their spiritual lives. In the peaceful town of Medjugorje, a place known for its calm beauty and rich spiritual atmosphere, Mirjana had long grown used to feeling God's presence. As one of the visionaries who had experienced multiple Marian apparitions, her faith was as strong as ever. Every morning, without fail, Mirjana would go to the local church. It was her special time to pray, to find peace, and to ask for God's guidance. In those quiet moments, she felt closest to heaven. One particular morning, as the first light of dawn gently streamed through the stained glass windows, Mirjana knelt in her usual spot near the altar. The church was empty, and the silence was so deep that she could almost hear her heartbeat. Outside, the trees rustled softly, their leaves brushing against the church walls. Mirjana closed her eyes and began to pray as she always did, her heart full of humility and devotion. But as she prayed, something extraordinary happened. A warm, bright light suddenly filled the church. Startled, Mirjana opened her eyes and was amazed by what she saw. Standing before her was a figure bathed in the purest, most radiant light she had ever seen. The light was so intense that it lit up every corner of the church, chasing away every shadow. Marjana's heart raced, but instead of fear, she felt an overwhelming sense of peace, love, and comfort coming from the figure. Mirjana, the figure said, and though the voice was gentle, it carried a powerful strength that touched the deepest part of her soul. She knew immediately that she was standing in the presence of God. Tears welled up in her eyes as she whispered, Lord, I am here. What do you wish to tell me? And then God spoke, sharing a message that was meant not just for her but for all Catholics. It was a message of love, but also a message of warning. God said, Beloved children, I bless you as a loving father. I see that I am not worshipped by all and those of you who are devoted to sharing the gospel will face suffering for your faith. Humanity has continued on a dangerous path, driven by madness that leads only to destruction. Without my protection, terrible crimes will be committed, terror will spread, 
and even genocides will occur. But I will not stand by forever. My hand will come down and deliver harsh punishment to those who persist in evil. God's message went on to address a very concerning issue, the increasing number of people who no longer attend church. He explained that more and more people are choosing to stay home instead of coming to worship, distancing themselves from him in the process. This trend is dangerous because regular church attendance is crucial for keeping a strong relationship with God. When people stop going to church, they miss out on the spiritual nourishment that comes from being part of a faith community, hearing the teachings of the clergy, and participating in the sacraments. God warned that when people avoid church, they create a spiritual void in their lives. This void leaves them open to negative influences, making it easier for the devil to find a way into their lives. The devil thrives in places where there is no spiritual protection. By staying away from church, people risk falling into temptation and being led off the righteous path. This issue has become especially noticeable in America, where the hustle and bustle of everyday life, the distractions of technology, and the rise of secularism have led many people to neglect their faith. Busy schedules, social commitments, and the convenience of staying at home often take priority over attending church. This shift reflects a much deeper spiritual problem people are becoming spiritually lazy. They are neglecting one of the most important parts of their Catholic faith. God's message was clear, attending church is not just a routine or obligation. It is an essential part of a Catholic's spiritual life. It is in church that Catholics find the support of their faith community, the guidance of their spiritual leaders, and the chance to receive the sacraments. The Eucharist, in particular, is a source of grace and strength. It helps believers resist temptation and live their lives according to God's will. God reminded the faithful that his mercy is infinite and that he always hears the cries of those who seek his help. He encouraged everyone to continue loving him and to express that love by attending church, praying, and living lives of faith. This warning, especially directed at American Catholics, is a wake-up call. God has seen how church attendance has declined and this is a cause for great concern. The church is where Catholics find the strength to live their faith in a world full of challenges. It's where they receive the wisdom, guidance, and grace they need to stay on the right path. Without it, their spiritual lives weaken, and they become vulnerable to the temptations and dangers that the devil puts in their way. God's message is a reminder that the road to heaven requires dedication, faithfulness, and a strong connection to the church. Catholics must return to the heart of their faith, which is found in worship, prayer, and the sacraments. Only by doing so can they hope to reach their eternal home with God in heaven. We want to thank you very much for watching our video to the end. We're like a big family all around the world who believe in God. Let's keep moving forward in our faith journey, trusting in God and not letting fear hold us back. Amen.